Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So today I'm going to be showing you the way that I continue to get past horses on my different games. So on my UK game, my international, my US and my Australian game. So what I do is in my equestrian centre meadows, I have 25 acre meadows and I have the truck on each of them for the Longhorn cattle. And I put those in for 30 days and then whenever those are ready, I harvest those cattle so if I just go I'm on my UK game at the minute you can just see that that crop has just gone in if I go on here to international I've got ones that I'm waiting another 19 days on so it does take a long time on my US um, game they're actually finished so I can retrieve the leather so we're gonna retrieve all of this and I'll show you what to do with it next so you can only put in um, a maximum of six meadows at a time so I'll retrieve all those and once I've retrieved those what I'm gonna do is put in more again. So I'm going to select all of these. So I've got six. I'm going to click edit and raising cattle. I'm going to go with Longhorn. You can go with Bradford but you don't get as much leather. Longhorn does cost a bit more but I think it's worth it. So those are being for another 30 days. So what I then do is I go into the store. I do this regardless of what server on. And then I'll click sell items and I'll sort this by the leather and I sell that all as, as bulk. So you can see there, we've got quite a lot of equities from that. So what I then do is go into the sales, I click equal to zero passes because I don't want anything that's gonna call me passes and I want something that is at least over 29. Ideally, you want it to be on the dot of 30. Um, I wanna make sure that it's not immortal because mortal horses are the ones that I can send off to heaven when they die. Immortal would be completely useless, so I'll click search. So we've got a bunch of horses here. So I'll search by price and I'll put it lowest to highest. Now you want to make sure that they are at least 30 years old. I sometimes search for 29 just in case, but really you do want to search for anything that is 30 or above. So I'll just put that in. So we've got all these horses to choose from. I'm going to go with what's the cheapest first. So I'm going to buy this horse. Hopefully we'll be able to get these two. So we'll buy that. Okay, we're not going to have enough to get that, that other one, so we'll ignore that for now. So then literally all I do is I click age. And sometimes it's best to do a bit of like uh, rides or something with it to bring its energy down. That's usually better because it usually kills them all faster. And I click send to heaven and I get a pass. So you can see it from there. So, okay, so the horse died at 30 years and two months and has gone to heaven. And one of your past horses has died and your account has been credited with one pass to help you continue the game. So I'll do the exact same thing with this one. Those horses you could see were quite expensive. They were close to 400,000. Okay, so I'm gonna go back on to the, you honestly, International. So International is a lot nicer to buy pass horses and I'm gonna show you why. So put that to that and I'm gonna put it over 30. And once again, click this. Okay, so you can see they're a lot cheaper here. A heck of a lot cheaper. So International is really great for pass horses. I find it very easy to get a lot of pass horses um, this way because they are a lot cheaper. Um, so you can get quite a few this way. On some servers, the smaller servers, the horses do generally seem to be much more expensive. So it does take more time to do. But this is literally what I do to earn passes. So. I mean, there's lots of ways to earn passes, obviously, as I've said, but this is the one method that I continue to use regardless of what server I'm on. Some servers, it takes a lot more time, like um, Australia and USA, it takes me a lot longer. Um, international is much easier to work with because the prices are really good and UK is very, very expensive. Um, so some servers, it is very hard to get pass horses. It is, and some it's not. So. We'll just age that other one there. And obviously the first 10 pass horses that you send off to heaven guarantee to give you um, a pass. And after that initial 10, then the chance decreases and you'll get items instead. But that is how I continue to get passes across all of my different games. Um, so I hope this video was helpful. Anyway, Scrubs, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you had a lovely day. Bye-bye. Oh,